Hi, Huan Ying. Hey, come on in. I have missed you. There's a little something for everyone today. We're going back to one of my favorite places, Macau. Just like its people, the food in Macau is unique. You just can't find it anywhere else unless you learn to make it yourself. That's where you and I come in. We're going to make three Greek Macanese recipes today. I'm ready, but first, a touch of Portugal in Asia, and we'll meet Miss Macau. This is Macau, a city with three heritages, Chinese, Portuguese, and a special combination called Macanese. Walking is great fun in Macau, especially if you cross the plaza, go up a side street, and then find one of the best restaurants in town, the Platão, which features all three culinary traditions. I'm in the kitchen with Chef Lo, helping to make a dish that puts Portuguese sausage and Cantonese roast duck over rice. You'll never find this unique combination anywhere else. It has to pick for a little while. And since we're so close to the sea, seafood is naturally the next dish. The sauce is tomato-based, and Chef Lo does his magic not in a wok, but in a regular saucepan. In goes the seafood. Now rice. You may say, hey, that looks like a paella. But along with the prawns and mussel, there is actually some Chinese duck sausage. Wow, what an aroma. And now the sausage and duck rice is ready. You know, dining outside is not only romantic, but it's so European. I love it. And here in this European setting, what a treat to feast on some of Chef Lowe's signature dishes, the seafood casserole. The big rice with sausage and roast duck. We often say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. In Macau, it is also in his taste buds. Welcome to the home of Miss Macau. In the kitchen, Chef Orlando Garcia pan sears the house special. Miss Macau beef tenderon. with a couple of key ingredients. A lot of garlic, a lot of ginger. Set it aside and make the sauce. Cream. Hot mustard. Chili garlic sauce. Pan fry the beef. Put the sauce right on top. Mmm, it looks great. So here is clam. I love clam. So we're going to do a very special clam dish. Chef Garcia starts with olive oil, garlic, and shredded ginger, and sliced Portuguese sausage. And now the clams and some white wine. Now you notice that when the clam is fresh, they're close. When you touch them, if they're live, they definitely close. If it's not close, this is a dead clam, don't use it. Now some water or broth. And tomato, chili garlic, soy, and a little bit of cilantro. Now we're ready to serve. Look at it, it's all open up. Beautiful, look at that. Chef did not overcook the clam, that's why it's nice and plump. You know that by common sense, when you overcook the clam, they shrink to nothing. So this is perfect. Hey, you may be wondering why a restaurant is called Miss Macau. Amazingly enough, all four of the owner's beautiful daughters have been crowned Miss Macau. I'm dining with the most beautiful ladies in Macau. This is all Miss Macau. Mina and Tina. Gioma and Bella. I am so lucky to meet all of them at once. I figure out if I come here often enough and eat enough of these, I will look good too. I'll probably miss the universe. <laughs> well, anyway, 
cheer and continue success in your career and your life. I'm cutting up more mushroom to make my next dish called Miss Macau's Beauty Queen Peeve. Very interesting, very easy to make. Everybody can do it. This is truly a Macanese dish because I use ingredients from the West and also use some Chinese simple ingredient. Here I have brown, the wonderful piece of, you can use any beef. This is beautiful piece of beef. Look at that. I brown it on one side for about two minutes or so, high heat. Very, very high heat, okay? And then let it brown in the meantime. We're gonna make the mushroom sauce. Here, I make it also a little bit east, miss west. Tiny bit of oil and butter, okay? Tiny bit of butter. Mmm, a little bit of butter. And then throw in all the mushroom I have just cut up. And then also slice of garlic and ginger. Oh, throw in all of these. Saute this. Mm. Make sure, as I said earlier, chopstick is a great cooking utensil. I also throw in a tiny, tiny bit of this carrot to give some color contrast. You see this? So beautiful. You know what? I think I like to have a tiny bit more garlic. So we're going to slice this up. Put it right over here. More garlic and more ginger makes the dish taste a lot better, okay? And of course, a tiny bit of white wine. Oh, beautiful. From bay sauce. And then, saute this. Mmm, it tastes good. Then I add a tiny bit of mustard. Tiny bit of mustard, hot mustard. This is the Chinese hot mustard. You can use a regular, French mustard, tiny bit of cream, okay? Mmm, a nice cream. This is definitely Western. And then, now, nah, this is Chinese touch. Add a tiny bit of oyster flavor sauce, then a black pepper. Mmm, this is so beautiful. Mmm, nice. Don't overcook your mushroom, otherwise you lost the texture. In the meantime, I think our beef is getting very nice golden brown on both sides, and I think that's it. We shut this off and shut this off. Mwah. You know, if you have time, you should all make a little bit more of this carrot. Use a little cookie cutter, little vegetable cutter. You push it down like this, and you do it again. Once again, push it, it looks like this, and you throw it in. You let mushroom, hey, by all means, use all kind of mushroom. Look at this. The one that I have put in is Butter mushroom, shiitake mushroom, and oyster mushroom. This oyster mushroom, this is shiitake mushroom. If you happen to have this, use some king iringi mushroom. Beautiful, okay? And then we are ready to serve these. Oh, actually, I would like to have a tiny bit more cream. Oh, that would do it, okay? That would do it. The first thing we do is remove these and put this over here. Put the mushroom sauce, slice it. Right over here. Look at beautiful. Huh? Very nice. Got all the flavor, East Miss West flavor. And then at the same time, I have a piece of beef. Now, Chinese never, never eat a whole piece of beef or meat. So they always share. So this is <laughs> Chinese style. We slice this up. Still wonderfully pink. Cut in an angle like this. You see? Beautiful. Just trim the fat off. I don't want the fat. And then you fan this out like this. Ah. Fan this out. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at how beautiful this is. Nice and colorful. And then, you know what? To make even more fusion, macanese, I have some sweet potato, which is deep fried which is also introduced to China. You put it right over here. Now, look at what you have here. This is Miss Macau Beauty Green Beef. Mm -hmm. 
I'm boring up almost one half pounds of clam. Oh, almost one and a quarter kilo oh, of this clam. Oh, don't lose anything. For my next dish, I call it spicy clams with pork sausage. Actually, I use Portuguese sausage. And I put them all together. Save this clam juice. The clam juice is very good. Put it in the fridge and use it in your broth. First, you heat up your wok or your frying pan with oil. Mm. And then you put all this garlic and ginger. Look at this. Garlic, ginger, and Portuguese sausage. Saute. And then get the flavor out. And can put all the clams right in here. Oh, a tiny bit of clam juice. I have extra clam juice here because I want to use a lot of clam juice. It's served like a broth. Look at this. Very nice. And you serve these, put them all together. Now, flavoring to make it a little bit more Chinese. I love hot and spicy food. Chili garlic sauce. This is very hot. This is extremely hot. This is so hot. You probably will smoke your hair. And then a tiny bit of, now, this is the West tomato paste, okay? Every time you use tomato paste, my recommendation is balance the flavor with a tiny bit of sugar, okay? Tiny bit of sugar. And then, of course, I love to make it even more Cantonese, because it's Macanese food, by using a tiny bit of Chinese rice wine. Oh, in southern China, they use a lot of rice wine. Bring it to a boil, let it braise, let it braise, okay? It looks like I like to have even more flavoring. Huh, I have some lime juice. You see this? I get some lime juice out. Mm. Lime juice, about one tablespoon of lime juice is perfect, okay? Lime juice. And then also, chop some cilantro. Now, this whole piece of cilantro here, a lot of people think you can only use this part. Actually, you can use the whole thing. You can use the root too. And you can chop this up. This is give it texture and flavor. Oh, perfect. We we'll put them all together right in here to give the flavor contrast and some extra chopped cilantro. And then, of course, for those who love garlic, everybody love garlic. You don't think only the Italian love garlic. Chinese love garlic. And the Korean, every day is a garlic festival. Okay, and I'm gonna have some garlic here. We'll show you again how to mince garlic. <coughs> mince garlic, put it right over here. And the minced garlic, <coughs> minced garlic, put it right over here. This is how you do minced garlic. The ginger, the same way. Piece of ginger, <coughs> Pins ginger. Oh, beautiful. Put them all together. You see? Once again, use whatever you have. Chopstick is a great utensil to use. Mm, look at this. Beautiful. When this is all nice and ready, you know what? This is almost ready to be served. Mm, look at this. I want to show you a couple of things. Why we're still... The great thing about it is let the flavor really permeate into the clam, and the clam really flavor the broth. When you eat it, you can serve over rice or spaghetti. It's wonderful. Let me show you. Take a look at this. This is a different sausage here. Now, this is the fresh Portuguese sausage. This is the hung-dry Portuguese sausage. And this is also the sausage, but the Chinese duck liver sausage. A little bit smaller, very flavorful. In fact, I like it so much. I'm going to put in a few pieces of these, cut it very, very thin slices of these to enhance the flavor. And you put it right over here. Oh, look at this. Doesn't take too long to cook because it's such a thin slice of flavor. Such a thin slices. Also, Chinese also make sausage with chicken and everything. And now we are ready to serve, okay? Here, we put it over here and go, hey, this is it. We put this all together. Look at the wonderful dish. Just have a lot of broth. I have a lot of broth here. And before I serve, make sure I put this right in here. Put this right in here to cover this. So, I'm gonna put this over here. Now I wanna show you. This is spicy clams with Portuguese pork sausage.
I'm showing everybody how to make some garnishing. Cut it, the carrot, to make another dish. I call it Macau clay pot rice. This is particular dish is inspired by Chef Low at Plato restaurant in Macau. You see this? I cut this up. You can see the different shape. Now I'm going to slice this up. And then I use this in our dish. Very interesting. Okay. That's all I need, actually. We'll put them all together right here. And then the rest, we save it. Now, of course, you got to have rice. This is long grain rice. In Macau, most of the population are from Canton. So they use Cantonese. Uh, Cantonese always use long grain rice because they grow a lot more in southern China. And then I rinse it. When you buy rice in North America, you should just rinse it once or twice and then, then drain it off. You do not wash it until crystal clear. You know why? Because you wash it so much, you wash away some of the vitamin. They add it into it, and hence the nutrients, okay? They have wonderful nutrients, so don't wash it too much. And then you get this clay pot ready, because we're going to do clay pot. If you don't have clay pot, you can use a regular saucepan, no problem at all, okay? Here, I put a tiny bit of oil. Make sure when you use clay pot, you use a diffuser, okay? Make sure you use a diffuser. The wonderful thing about diffuser is this is hot, okay? Make sure you move them around and this is not too high. If it's too high, let me show you. If it's this high, you might crack it, okay? Make sure you turn it down, turn it low. Not turn it off, but turn it low. And then you add a tiny bit of oil. This is how I normally add oil. I put it in a little ladle. Instead of dumping right direct, directly, I do it like this so I can control it. If it's too much, I pull it back. So just enough oil, about two teaspoons or so. And then I'm going to put all the sausage. You see this? This is the fresh Portuguese style sausage, the duck liver sausage, and the Chinese duck liver sausage, and the dry sausage. I only use the dry sausage this time, OK? the dry sausage, but I also use a tiny bit of Chinese sausage. This I already showed you earlier. This is the regular Chinese duck liver sausage. This is the regular pork sausage. I slice this up, thin slices like this. Okay, I use about half of these. I also put it in because it's very interesting, very unique flavor. East me sweats, Portuguese and Cantonese. This is a two mechanist dish. And then stir. Now, the great thing about this is why the Chinese love to use clay pot. Because when you use clay pot, the great thing about clay pot is they are very, very good in terms of performance because it's a bad conductor heat. So it takes a long time to heat up. It takes a long time to cool down. So when you cook something over here, it keeps the food warm. So it's wonderful. A good basic recipe, okay? This is also a wonderful recipe to use for duck. Ah, here I put the rice, which is already washed. Put it saute. Mm. Ah, put it all in. Okay. One portion of rice. You cook about two and a half to three portion of I mean raw rice to three portion of cooked rice. And then I put some of the duck, which is roast duck, leftover roast duck. You buy it in the deli, your local deli. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be very nice. And then you put ah the carrot already sliced. Really nice. Okay, and then the next thing is you put the broth. Now, this is tricky. Normally, this is the broth from the duck. You see, this is the duck broth, the duck carcass, so we don't waste anything. Don't throw anything away. We put all of these duck broth, nice golden brown duck broth, put it right over here, okay? And one portion of rice to about one and a half portion of liquid. Okay, and then we flavor it with a tiny bit of mustard, turmeric, five spice powder, mix them all up, make it really East Miss West. And then also a Chinese off, a Chinese fermented, mm, Chinese fermented sauce, okay? Soybean sauce and tiny bit of oyster sauce, very Chinese. And a regular rice wine or dry sherry. Okay, and a tiny bit of soy sauce. Mmm, this is gonna be very, very good. You know, see, very simple. And then, of course, 
if you want. You can even throw in a tiny bit of green onion. You can finish cooking right here, or you can actually put this in the oven. Now, talking about clay pot, when you buy clay pot in a store, the store always have a little bucket of water to check whether this is actually, there's any crack. So you put this over here, you see this? There's no crack. There's no water coming in. That means this is a very nice clay pot, which is not crack. Look at all this wire. It's to protect the clay pot. Just in case you bump into something, it is reinforcing. Now, there's other clay pot available in the market. You see this? This is a clay pot. After you use a little while, they get dirty, but it doesn't affect the performance, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it up. This is not glazed outside, but inside is glazed. Now, this is a big soup stock pot. Inside the glaze, outside is glaze, also reinforced with this. And this is a smaller so soup pot, and this is a Japanese clay pot, and this one is not glazed outside, but glazed inside. Now, let us check our Wonderful duck rice from the oven. Whoa, let's check it out. Make sure this is beautiful and good. Ah, whoa, very, very hot. Of course, make sure you garnish this. Put a tiny bit of green onion and put a tiny bit of extra cilantro. This is how beautiful it is. Of course, put this back. Ha. Huh. There you have it, Macau clay pot with rice. It is fun to make once you know how. It is even more fun to eat it with friends and family. Remember, if Yen can cook Macanese, so can you. Judge in.